Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm one of the nephrologists working at Columbia Asia Whitefield Hospital. When a patient receives a kidney transplantation, there are several things a patient has to be educated about. When we put a kidney from somebody else into a recipient, uh, we have to give that patient uh, medications to control their immune system because their immune system will try, just like the immune system tries to fight infections, uh, the immune system will try to fight this new kidney that's being transplanted because the immune system sees the kidney as foreign. So in the recipient patient, we have to give medications to control that immune system immune system's response against the new kidney. So they have to be on medications called immunosuppressive drugs. Now those immunosuppressive drugs also therefore, because you're controlling the immune system, increase the risk of development of infections in the recipient. So the post-transplant care, um, uh, along with many other things, really uh, tries to we try to balance the risk of rejection of the kidney by the immune system and infections that, uh, that uh, the patient is more prone to because of a suppressed immune system. Uh, it's one of the most important things that we deal with in the recipient after transplant. So post-transplant care uh, for the recipient uh, involves very frequent checks of blood tests, frequent checks of blood pressure. Uh, that is all very clearly explained to the transplant recipient on discharge, how frequently they have to see their transplant nephrologist. The patient may have to keep watch over their urine output as an outpatient, how much fluid they're taking in. They may have a few dietary restrictions in the beginning. They will be uh, the immunosuppressive medications, a list of medications that they're required to take will be clearly explained to them. It will include these medications to suppress the immune system as well as some medications to deal with certain infections, decrease the risk of certain infections. They have to take these medications at very specific times. You cannot miss any of these doses of medications as they're very important, especially early on in transplant, but there will be these will be lifelong medications in the majority of the cases. So that will be explained to uh, patients very clearly. They may have to get certain drug levels of these medications done at specific times. Um, and we may or may not in the post-transplant period require uh, the, the patient to undergo biopsy of the, of the transplanted kidney. These are things that will be explained in the post-operative period to the patient. They will also have to follow up with the transplant surgeon uh, for a few checks post-transplant. And because the patient is at risk for infection, uh, the patients should be careful in the post-operative period in terms of how what they're eating. Um, they should be eating hot, well-cooked food, not eating out too much because uh, the risk of a gastrointestinal problem can be much more, it's a bigger problem to handle in a patient that has a, a suppressed immune system than in the average population. Uh, also, they should not be around people who have coughs and colds. Uh, they should monitor themselves for uh, fevers a little bit more closely.